Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Pager. Hope you're doing well. Hey, did you guys happen to see that awesome debate last night? It was more of a, ooh, 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 pick me, pick me, pick me. It was kind of out of control. I was surprised that the moderators didn't really have control of the debate. If you guys didn't see the debate last night, um, you know how normal debates go. Moderator asks a question to a certain candidate. They answer it. And if they, you know, point out um, or call out another um, candidate's name, then that candidate has a chance to respond. Not everybody has a chance to respond. Just a candidate they call out um, generally. But last night, it, it was like um, the questions were far, few and far between. And when they would get asked, <clears throat> say they asked Bernie Sanders a question, he would answer the question. Then everybody's hands would start going, oh, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. And it would be like, 10 minutes of that bullshit while they're like answering and giving out campaign speeches and attacking each other. I'm like, what the hell is going on right now? This isn't a debate. This is a, this is a, a free for all of, ooh, 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 pick me. I want to make the most absurd answer or uh, response now. Pick me, pick me. I'm a jackass. Look over here. I'm a dumb one. Hey, I'm a Democrat running for president. I have no answers for anything. Ha ha. Pick me, pick me. It was ridiculous. I, I couldn't believe how crazy it was. I tuned in because, well, I'm a glutton for punishment. Oh, by the way, you like my hat? Trump 2020, baby. Um, so I'm watching last night mainly because I wanted to see Bloomberg. I wanted everybody to see the jackass that I've known he has always been. So I was very excited when he got up on stage. You can hardly really see. He was you know, kind of standing above the podium like that. You just barely see the top of his head. Um, anyways, short joke. Um, he got destroyed. He got, he got his shit handed to him last night, mainly by Elizabeth Warren. She hammered the crap out of him. Stop and frisk, um, uh, all these policy, um, you know, non-disclosure agreements he has with women that are not allowed to say anything for whatever godly reason. We can only imagine why he would have, uh, you know, uh, people under a non-disclosure agreement or hush you know, you can't say anything because I paid you off. Don't say anything bad about me. Um, and and his response was, oh, well, they might not have liked the joke I said. I think it's, I think it's a little bit deeper than that there, Tiny Mike, Mini Mike, whatever Trump calls you. Um, so here's my takes. <clears throat> I got some notes here. Um, the, the, what I saw last night from the very few questions that were asked by the moderators were they were all really um, – designed to take Bernie Sanders down. They they don't the Democrat establishment doesn't want Bernie Sanders to be the nominee. I don't want him to be the nominee. I don't want any of them to be the nominee. I, I mean, you know what? I take that back. It really doesn't matter to me who the nominee is. Trump's going to destroy whoever it is. But the Democrat party does not like Bernie Sanders because we all know he's a socialist. He's not a Democrat. Um and when he gets called out on, he gets defensive. I think um I'm not sure if Sanders or Bloomberg. I think Bloomberg called him a communist. It was hilarious. He was like, don't call me a communist. I'm not a communist. Blah, blah, blah. How dare you? Blah, 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 blah. Anyways. Um, so all those questions mainly were targeted to take Bernie down. You know, giving everybody the option to basically just destroy him when they, when they could. It didn't really work that well. Um, Bloomberg, absolutely the worst debater I've ever seen. He looked like a deer in the headlights. He was like, "What? what's happening right now? I have a lot of money. These people aren't supposed to be attacking me like this. Don't they know that I'm the chosen one? He thinks that everybody else should get off the stage and it's going to be him versus Bernie Sanders in in uh, um, in the primaries. It very, well, it very well may be that way, but... Just because you have a lot of money doesn't mean that you can just get up there and be like, I'm winning because I can buy you all. No, sorry. Not how it works there, Mini Mike. He was horrible. Wasn't prepped very well. Kind of was stuttering a lot. Sounded like a New York version of Porky Pig. Um, not very good at all. Um, then you have Elizabeth Warren. She's um, she was very She was very good at attacking Bloomberg. But then she was very much placating Bernie Sanders, almost like she was looking for a job interview. You know, like, oh, 
well, Bernie does this, and we agree like this. So, but this is what I think is going to happen. So I'm like, she didn't really attack Bernie Sanders. She, um, like I said, was more like placating him and coming off as she was trying to be the VP because she knows she doesn't have a chance in hell of beating him um, or even getting to the primary. So it looked like she was vying for a VP spot. Um, and then you had Amy Klobuchar, um, and she seemed to be the most modern, uh, modern, moderate Democrat on the stage. If she comes off that way, um, she may very well be. I, I'm not sure. Um, but she was just kind of like, you know how Trump called Jeb Bush low energy? Well, she was just kind of like, eh, not, ver- not really pushing anything. She wasn't really aggressive in her views. Um, that's, that's probably just her personality. Um, but when you have um, people on the stage like Warren and... Um, Bernie Sanders, who are very high energy, they're very you know in your face. It's not, it, it doesn't get your. She's not gonna get her message across when she has to deal with people like that. Um, then you had uh, Buttigieg up there. Um, I think that he actually won the debate. He seemed to be the most um, calm, well prepared, um, just kind of like. But he's like calm and in a, in like a slimy manner, like he's a like a snake oil salesman. Like he's, he's up there kind of doing this thing like, Hey, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to do uh, Medicare for all, but, um, uh, you're not gonna have to pay for anything. And then it's like forked tongue comes out and he's just very slimy. It, it's his mannerisms. Uh, I don't like the guy. Uh, I obviously, I don't, I don't like his policies. Um, again, he comes off like the snake oil salesman He's very assured of assured of himself, um, but that calm manner is just kind of like, yeah, ew, it's kind of like oozy. It's gross. It, I think you know what I'm saying. It's, it's just it's 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 kind of it's snaky. It's he's a snake in the grass. It's gross. Um, and you know what's funny about that is that last night before the debate started, I was watching Tucker Carlson, and this is new to me. I didn't. I didn't realize that his Pete Buttigieg's brother-in-law was a pastor or is a pastor and um, obviously married to Buttigieg's sister. He is like disgusted with Pete Buttigieg and his viewpoints and policies. The guy is obviously a, 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 a Trump supporter and he, I think Buttigieg said something the other day. Uh, yeah, I think it was, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before where he said he can't believe how um, Christian people can vote and support for Donald Trump. Serious right now? You just like alienated like half of the electorate right there. You just took them all out and no one's going to vote for your ass anymore who happens to be a Christian person. Um, which is, it's like, how do you, how do you, how do you degrade somebody like that based on what the, who, who you know what religion they are how, how they believe it's just we have freedom of religion in this country you cannot dictate to anybody on how to feel about that so maybe you should have just kept your mouth shut on that one um, but Buddha judge is um, brother-in-law was you know I couldn't believe how disgusted he was and I'm, I'm I wonder I wonder what Thanksgiving's like in that house but uh, anyways um, and then you had um, Joe Biden who really was quiet last night. He, he was, he had a couple of answers. He had a couple of questions, but for the most part, he was just up there like, Hey, I'm crazy Joe. <laughs> Let's go sit here and smile. And at the very end, uh, sorry, at the very end of the bay, I'm not sure if you saw this, but there was a question. I forgot what question it was that was thrown at him, but somebody in the audience screamed out, you deported 3 million people. How dare you? And he's just like, huh? What? Staring, staring blankly at the screen. So, um, again, you know, I think Klobuchar came out as probably the most moderate on the stage. She's she actually might be a Democrat. And you had um, Biden just kind of like not really there, just kind of an empty suit. Um, you had Elizabeth Warren vying for VP, it seemed like, and then you had Bernie Sanders up there being attacked on all angles. Um, but he kind of defended himself pretty well. At one point, I thought he was going to have a heart attack, and he got really red-faced and kind of like, you know how angry he kind of gets. He just, you know, he, 
come to think of it, he came across as pretty angry. Um, and I know he is pretty, he's, he comes across pretty angry all the time, to me anyways. He seems like he's a very angry person. So, um, And then you had uh, Michael Bloomberg, who just looked like a deer in the headlights, wasn't planning on getting attacked so badly uh, or viciously, and didn't have an answer for anything. Couldn't defend any of his past uh, policies. And at one point, one of the moderators asked him about stop and frisk, and he basically said, you know, I've already answered your question. Um, you need to move on. And it was very condescending the way he said it. Uh, so I don't think that's going to play over very well with the um, Democrat electorate. And, uh, you know, Pete Buttigieg came off, you know, calm and cool again. Um, had all the very well-prepared answers uh, that didn't really answer anything. Just kind of, you know, open-ended and just kind of like espousing um, more uh, rhetoric and talking points. Um, and just kind of looked like a sleazy uh snake oil salesman so if you didn't see the debate last night it was kind of comical um and still painful all at the same time so uh that being said do me a favor please like share subscribe this video um leave a comment below uh, hit that bell notification for future video notifications and always remember to stay on the right side have a great day everybody talk to you soon